Hey guys, it's Aaron. Um, so had a question come up again. It seems like this is a question that comes up on our forum about once a month is how do you punch a hole in a tube? So um, I'm thinking there's a couple reasons this question comes up, like either you wanting to join tubes together, like on a bike frame, that kind of thing, or you actually just want to have a tube, a tu tubular shape cylinder uh, with a hole going through it. So we're going to look at a couple ways of doing it. There's, there is several different ways of doing it. Um, I'm going to focus on the ways that use solid tools because you can use intersect, um, but it just ends up being a lot of extra steps and we have the tool, so why not use it? So we're going to look at using solid tool to put some holes in some cylinders. Let's go. Okay, so first thing we need is a cylinder. I'm going to go the extra mile here. I'm going to go to grab a circle and I'm going to put a circle right here in the origin and pull it out on the red. And then I'm going to grab this right here, offset, push that in like that, select and delete here, and then I'm going to push this up. So I got a nice big cylinder. I'm going to triple click and make it a group, not a component because I'm going to be punching holes in this and I want multiple copies to get holes punched in it. Um, so just making one and I obviously arbitrarily just made it a size. If you have a specific size, go ahead and make it the right size when you try this. You do want to be conscious of one thing. I did make it large intentionally because as we come in and start punching holes in here, there are issues that can come up if my geometry is too small. I can hit that dreaded small face geometry errors where it doesn't create stuff the way it should because the geometry is too small. Um, if that's the case and you just want to scale up larger, do your intersection and then make another or then resize to the proper size. All right, so I'm going to start real simple. I'm just going to cut a circular hole right through this pipe. So I'm going to come in with a circle and I'm going to put it the size I want it to be. And then I'm just going to just like this, run that circle through there. All right, so we're going to use solid tools. So I'm going to come up here, view tool palettes and turn on solid tools. Um, I'm going to triple click this guy and make him a group. And, uh, you know, I'm going to take this setup right here and I'm going to copy it over here. I don't know, maybe we'll do it three times. We got some, some holes to punch. All right, so simplest thing here is to select your cutter. This does all have to be solids. So if I look at my entity info, if I pick on either of these, it does say solid group. So I want to select my cutter first. So this is the piece I want to cut out. I'm going to select it. I'm going to come here to this one, which is subtract. And then what do I want to subtract it from? Subtract it from this one. And there is the simplest solution. How do you put a hole in a cylinder or a pipe? Like that. Now, it should be noted if you wanted this through a solid piece, you didn't want a pipe, then you would just skip that step on the first step where I put the second circle in there and push pull it up. You would just pull a circle up, it would be solid, and this hole would run continuously through. I chose to show it in a pipe because a pipe's a little bit more work in that there's extra faces, but the process is pretty much the same. Okay, so a couple things here. What if I don't want this pipe or this hole to go all the way through? I only want it on one side. Well, here, let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to move it down. It is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is have it just slide it over so it only pokes through one side. Same thing here. I'll have this one come through the opposite side. So I'll bring that back like this. There we go. And then same process. Select the cutter, subtract, select what you want to cut from. And now we have a hole just in that one side. Same thing over here. I can select this one, subtract that from here like that. Very simple. Now this made me start thinking. So if I was fabricating something and, and maybe I wanted to, I don't know, maybe it was solid or maybe I'm, I'm screwing into a piece inside of here, but what if I wanted to kind of countersink my hole? I want my hole to be bigger on the outside uh, than it was on the inside. Let's look at something like that. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna push this back. So it does, only, just like before, it only goes through like that. And then let me select this circle, scale it, and I'm going to hit the modifier key to scale about the middle and shrink it way down to a teeny point. I'm going to come out here. Maybe I'll actually scoot this back, make this a little more squatty. Now I'll make it even bigger. I want to make a, a, a nice big countersink. So I'm going to grab this, scale it, hold my modifier key to scale about the middle and bring that up like that. 
And if I take that piece now, subtract it from here, look at, you can see how, oops, you know what I did? One of these pieces only got scaled in one direction. So I actually have not an equal cone. Oh, no, I do. I'm sorry. That was just because of the shape. So if I subtract that from here, you can see, see how I have this lip? Because it's, because it's kind of coming in with that hole. So as if I, I used a countersink bit to drill a hole into the side of a pipe. All right, let's go a little, let's go even further. What happens if I want to put different shape holes? See, now here's the thing. This piece can be anything, right? So however I want to punch a hole, I would get this question a lot. Well, what if it's, what if it's a window? Well, what if it's a square? What if it's a star shape? It doesn't matter. As long as this piece right here is a solid, then it does not matter at all what the shape of it is. So this happens to be a circle, but let's do something. We'll, we'll make a change here. I'm gonna come in with a rectangle tool. I'm gonna snap my rectangle tool to the center of the circle, hit the modifier key to draw from the center, and I'm going to pull out, maybe I'll just go down like this. I'm gonna pull out a square, and then I'll push that square back like this. And now I'll take this piece and I'll slide it over like this. So it's overlapping the sides. And this is still a solid, so all I have to do to actually cut that hole is subtract from here. And look what happens. I got a circle on one side, other side, I've got a square, all with one piece. That could have, again, been done with two separate pieces like we did the two holes here, but if I got one solid, I can cut through both pieces. So if you have, you know, you're modeling Cinderella's tower and you want to have an arched window in there, uh, you want to put a circle in, you want to put a squiggle shape or a letter punched into a circle, into something like this, it doesn't matter what shape it is or anything like that. All that matters is that you have two solids, your cylinder, pipe or solid, and the cutter, which is a separate solid shape. So hopefully that wasn't redundant, but there's a couple questions in there that I've seen come up uh, either on YouTube comments or in our forum about punching those kinds of holes. And I, I think some people get scared when they start talking about cylinders. Well, it's a rounded shape. So how are you gonna punch a hole in that? It really doesn't matter. Solid tools intersects and takes holes out of solids with subtract. You don't have to worry about what the shape is, either the one's getting cut or the one that's a cutter. As long as they're solid, it comes out just the same. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. We create more and more of our content based on comments and questions from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.